Hi there! Welcome to Tourism Matters, a program that explores issues about tourism and why tourism is an important part of our lives. This is brought to you by UPAIT and TVUP. Tourism Matters tackle broad topics and are divided into three series. Number one, tourism policy and governance with a specific focus on issue on over-tourism. Number two, tourism education and human resource capacity. And number three, tourism industry, market, and enterprise. We hope you find the series interesting, educational, and fun. Man Arts and Culture Month 2019 with the theme Lakad Gunita sa Lupang Hinirang was celebrated in February and March 2019 in commemoration of the 70th year of the university's move from its 10-hectare original site in Ermita, Manila to its 493-hectare campus in Diliman. The Office for Initiatives in Culture and the Arts, or OICA, in cooperation with various academic units in the university, has prepared several activities such as an exhibit, a stage play, and an open-air concert to celebrate the UP Diliman Arts and Culture Month 2019. The UP Asian Institute of Tourism is OICA's partner in planning, developing, and operating themed walking tours featuring itineraries that highlighted events and places of historical significance in UP Diliman within the past 70 years, as well as places that showcase the university's diverse flora and fauna. Good day. Uh, my name is Bienvenido Claraval. Everybody calls me Bien. I'm a faculty member of the University of the Philippines Asian Institute of Tourism. I'm here to give you an overview of the Lakad Bunita project. OICA gave us a set of uh, parameters to organize some walking tours. They uh, identified five themes, namely flora, fauna, martial law, public arts, architecture, and historical buildings. And the parameters, the physical parameters of the project uh, was the academic oval, meaning we would concentrate our tour itineraries within this spatial limitation. So our dean, Eddie Sir, he called a meeting and asked myself and Ms. Charmeline C, who is the other faculty member that teaches Tourism 175, which is Travel Management and Tour Operations, to look into this project and how to involve our students, those taking up travel management and tour operations, in the planning, uh, development, and uh, marketing and operations of these tour packages. The walking tours were offered on a complementary basis to all interested parties. The five thematic tours were Huni, Mulat, Hanga, Gubat, and Lingon. Hashtag Huni, scheduled every Monday, was a three-hour bird-watching activity in the National Science Complex. Because of its lush vegetation, UP Diliman has become home to 115 endemic and migratory bird species. In this tour, participants got the chance to observe birds such as the yellow vented bulbul, coppersmith barbet, which is locally known as pokpok, crow, Philippine fantail, Philippine pygmy woodpecker, crested mina, and long-tailed shrike. Hashtag Mulat, scheduled every Tuesday, brought back memories of the student activism during the 1970s that UP Diliman is known for. The tour escorts and site guides narrated how the Diliman commune started and the events that unfolded during the nine days of violence and unrest. The participants visited the buildings in the university where these events happened, such as the Quezon Hall, 
Planidel Hall, Melchor Hall or the College of Engineering, Gonzales Hall, Palma Hall, and Vincent's Hall. Hashtag Hanga, scheduled every Wednesday, was a public arts and architecture tour within the UP Diliman campus. The tour itinerary included Quezon Hall, Palma Hall, Gonzales Hall, the Carillon, the University Sundial, and the University Theater, as well as famous sculptures, namely the Oblation, Three Women Sewing a Flag, Raha Sulaiman, and Sham Nadiwata ng Sining. The participants got to know the stories and famous persons behind these buildings and artworks. Hashtag Gubat, scheduled every Thursday, was a tour of the one hectare EDC Binhi Threatened Species Arboretum. Here, the participants learned about the different types of forests and endemic species of plants in the Philippines, such as Yakal, Tangile, Giho, Lawan, Bagtikan, and Apitong. The tour also included a visit to the herbarium in the Institute of Biology where specimens of plant species are preserved and identified. Hashtag Lingon, scheduled every Friday, was a tour of the historical buildings that surround the Academic Oval in UP Diliman. The itinerary included the Vargas Museum, Faculty Center, University Theater, Palma Hall, Carillon Tower, Malcolm Hall, Quezon Hall, and Melchor Hall. The site guides and tour escorts discussed the stories, architects, and famous personalities behind these buildings. We um, uh, decided to divide the project into two phases. Phase one, which was the planning and development uh, part, which took place the last quarter of 2018. And phase two, which is the uh, operations of the product proper, which took uh, the, the, uh, the packages were operated from February to March of this year. Okay, so what we did, we uh, divided the themes into two. My section, which meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, was assigned martial law and uh, flora, while the other section that meets on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, were assigned um, public arts, architecture, historical buildings, and fauna. Ako po si Maria Rose Helene Manalo, mas kilala bilang RJ sa AIT, at ako po ay nahirang bilang a project coordinator para po sa walking tours component ng Lakad Gunita 2019. Um, ito po ay isang experiential learning, first time, kung baga, para sa akin at siguro para din sa marami sa amin. Para po sa panglunes na Lakad Gunita, ang hashtag Huni or Birdwatch, kung saan ang prominenteng uh, taong naghandle nito o humawak nito ay sa Professor Bert Madrigal ng College of Human Kinetics. Yun po namang pang Martes natin, yung tinatawag ating hashtag mulat. Yun po yung diliman ko yun. At pinangunahan po yun ni Professor uh, Michael Bernal. Kasunod po nun kapag ka Merkoles, ang hashtag hanga o yung tinatawag ating public arts and architecture sa pangunguna ni Professor uh, Robert Paulino ng College of Arts and Letters. Mula naman po sa Huwebes na tinatawag nating hashtag gubat sa syudad. Pinangunahan po yan ng Institute of Bio sa pamumuno ni uh, Professor Perry Ong na nasa langit na po. Salamat sa kanyang tulong. At ang pang po nating lakad gunita, uh, tin tinuringan nating hashtag lingon kung saan ang historical building ay pinangunahan naman po ng College of Architecture sa pangunguna ni uh, kanilang dekano Armin Sartu at ang kanilang head researcher si Glenn Orbon. So we were uh, we gave our students all the limitations and parameters of the project and we asked them to inspect or do ocular of the sites to be included in the itineraries and gather material uh, for the uh, 
uh, descriptive itineraries that would form part of the marketing tools, marketing material of the Lakad Gunita project. So the students went out, they uh, inspected the different uh, sites included in the different itineraries. They developed some uh, tour scripts for the tour guides and the tour escorts, and uh, they came up with the write-ups for the different uh, brochures of each particular uh, theme tour. We also determined the schedule of the operation of each package since we were looking at our students or students of the university to act as uh, tour guides and tour escorts. They would actually operate the packages they develop. The students of UPAIT, particularly those enrolled in the Tour 175 Travel Management and Tour Operations class during the first semester of the academic year 2018-2019, played an active role in developing the walking tours. Students were also involved during the implementation stage as tour escorts. So uh, as a student of Professor Charmeline Kabigasi of Tour 175 or Travel and Tour Operations for the Tourism Industry, I was one of those who were tasked for the organization of a mock tour for the incoming Lahad Gunita sa Lupang Hinirang program. And I am also currently now a tour escort for Hashtag Mulat, Diliman Commune Revisited Walking Tour. So what uh, we were tasked with was the creation of the routes and the circuits of the uh, different thematic walking tours. So in my class, uh, our group was assigned the hashtag Lingon for the historical buildings walking tour. So we were assigned to, de to determine the circuits and the routes for hashtag uh, Lingon. And uh, I must say that it was hard because formulating a new circuit, we had to really research about the, the important spots, impor important landmarks, the circuits, the, the sites that were in between the landmarks. So it was very hard for us to do that because we really had to research. We ha really had to go to the different buildings to ask the security guards, to ask the admins in order uh, to know more information about uh, the historical buildings around the Academic Oval of UP Diliman. Hi, I am Jan Ray Guevara, a volunteer escort for the Lakad Gunita program. So uh, being part of the Lakad Gunita program is really an amazing experience. So before kami sinabak sa actual experience ng, ng tour guiding, uh, nagkaroon mo namin ng crash course. So in this crash course, we were taught of the proper decorum, uh, proper speaking. So basically, um, tour guiding 101 where they teach us the tips and techniques of basic tour guiding. Bakit po may tour escort at tour guide? Kasi ang primary role po ng tour uh, escort, sila po yung magdadala ng participants, ng grupo na magtutour doon sa pinaka-venue or yung tinatawag nating stops. Pagdating po doon sa unang stop, sasalubungin po sila ng tour guide. Ang tour guide po ang mga tinatawag nating eksperto sa content ng kung ano man yung yung lakad para sa araw na yon. So, during the training, we had a mock tour where we acted as the participants and our trainers, uh, uh, they demonstrated what, is, uh, what it is like in the actual field. So, in this uh, training, uh, tinuruan kami nung, uh, yung people parking, which is the proper placement of the audience to not cause traffic. And then, tinuruan din kami dito ng Iba't iba pang bagay like proper speaking, ganun, how to deal with the different audience because we have a very, very broad uh, target market for this uh, program. We also had to do a mock tour for hashtag Lingon. So it was hard because we really had to determine the carrying capacity of our walking tour. So we overestimated, we had 36 participants. So, and we didn't uh, really have lapels, we didn't really have resources. So it was very challenging, but uh, we were able to pull it off. So it was fun. At the end of the day, we, uh, we had generated uh, a little bit of profit uh, to compensate us. So uh, during the first day, the very first tour, 
So, uh, unang beses namin magkakasama ng mga tour guides and escorts. So, we had problems with coordination since bago pa nga. Even though we had this script where we based our information for our discussions. But uh, later on, um, na alam na namin yung kung paano yung sistema, uh, alam na namin yung proper time management, yung pacing, and then by the end, we didn't really have to rely on the script anymore since alam na nga namin yung mga sinasabi namin and alam na namin kailan i-insert yung mga jokes namin. Yun pong ating hashtag Huni ay talagang nag isa lang ang ating naging tour escort slash tour guide na rin. O siya na rin po yung primary source ng information kasi si Sir Bert nagdadala siya ng kanyang um, high technology camera slash binocular. At ang oras po nito ay alas 6 hanggang alas 9. Kasi sabi nga, doon daw yung oras na ang mga ibon ay nagsisidapo dahil palabas ang mga uod. So umaga po yung, yung uh, lakad gunita na yan. May katuwang po siya mula sa EIT na dalawang sudyante na kasama ng labing isang volunteers mula sa Tour 175 classes po namin na tinawag namin mga tour escorts. Uh, we also uh, enrolled or recruited the collaboration of the different units that participated in the project, like uh, um, Palma Hall, which houses the martial law. We're involved in the martial law and uh, architecture. We also involved the uh, Institute of Biology and all other units, and contacted uh, project officers who would help us uh, recruit students of the respective units to act as tour guides. So, alam kong uh, marami silang natutunan mula kay Sir Bien, Clara Val, at kay Ma'am Charmsy na tumayong um, tour uh, escort and guide trainer. Ba uh, kung mas mabangkit ko lang, pareho po silang ASEAN accredited participating or volunteering as one of the tour escorts really has its perks. So because of this, we have enhanced and uh, improved our skills like uh, communication skills, uh, people skills, kasi nga na pag interact kami with different kinds of people every tour or every session. And because of this, natuturan din namin mag-adapt sa aming uh, environment. Important things, things na talagang natutunan ko is the appreciation for like for our tour kasi uh, hashtag hanga the public arts and architecture so we visit uh, the public arts around UP or uh, around the academic oval so natututo kami dun sa mga information na nasa script namin pero natututo rin kami dun niya, dun niya sa experiences nila na I think it is really the same for each tour escort and tour guide for each tour talaga so, being a tour escort of Hashtag Mulat, Diliman Commune, revisited walking tour, it really taught me how to have, how to improve my people skills, especially when we were dealing with a lot of different peoples. Uh, uh, our audience was divided into two. The alumni uh, participants who were um, often the victims of the, of the Marcus regime before, and we also had the student part of the audience because uh, these uh, students were usually freshmen who really wanted to know more about the university. university. So it was a little bit hard to adjust to different audiences because we really have to cater to the older audience and we have to be able to bond with a younger audience. So adjusting and especially it, it, the pacing was hard. So I think uh, that kind of skill was uh, developed for me, uh, people skills, adjusting to peoples. So mula po sa dalawang araw na training ng mga tour escorts at tour guide, ang una po ay ang basics. Kagaya na sinabi na aming uh, sudyante kanina, tinuruan sila paano humarap sa mga tao. Kung paano lang sasabihin yung spiel nila, yung script nila. At kung merong mag-interrupt na mas magaling doon sa sinasabi nila, paano nila haharapin yon nang hindi sila mag-aaway? Yan. So, isang buong araw po yun. At ang pangalawang araw po yung tinatawag natin MAC Tour. Um, sa bawat batch kasi, may iba't ibang mga tao. Like, pwedeng mga babies, pwedeng mga matatanda. So, you get their 
different experiences from different kinds of people. So, dito, hindi lang sila yung natututo sa mga discussion namin. Maging kaming mga tour guides and escorts, natututo rin sa mga alam nila. Like, for example, may alumni na, na UP and then they went to the tour. So, nagsishare sila na experience nila na maging kami, hindi namin alam na, uy, bago lang pala to sa kanila or hindi pa nila to na-experience before kasi wala pa nga to ng time nila. So, uh, I think that is a very good thing about this uh, walking tour then. At the same time, we prepared uh, reservations manual. We determined the procedures in accepting reservations. By the way, these tours were offered by the university on a complementary basis. First come, first served. So participants of these tours were not charged anything for the experience. So we um, uh, came up with the reservations procedures. And uh, we also started designing the marketing tools. Each theme tour had its own separate brochure. It is not only the participants, the students, the alumni, whoever the audience is who learn, but it's, it is also us, tour guides and tour escorts, who really learn through the experience, even though you, uh, you tell the same story over and over again. I think you really learn a lot, not only for the, uh, from the tour itself, but also from the audience that you interact with. Because pretty much in the tours, we interact with different kinds of people every day uh, in like every, like in work, in school, or just daily life. And then we experience different scenarios, uh, unexpected scenarios, and we learn how to deal with them and respond accordingly. So I think it is a really, really humbling experience. And as you get to see what it is uh, to be out there in the field and experience all this stuff. Our students gain the experience of Planning tour itineraries, of course, within the Diliman campus, and uh, arranging the sequence of the buildings and sites to visit, plus the itinerary or the routing within the specific building. So if you're in Palma Hall, it has so many floors. Where do we assemble? the participants, where do you give the briefing, which floor comes first, which floor comes last. All of this is part of the planning process of tours. And um, of course, during the implementation stage, when you act as a tour escort or a site guide, then you have to know uh, how to manage the movement of the participants, what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. Remember, the tour scripts were developed by the students themselves. Ang pinaka-challenge po dito dahil ito ay tinatawag nating seasonal project. Hindi naman talaga ito nakapaloob sa kanilang curriculum o sa isang taon nilang schedule. Sumisingit po tayo sa mga schedule na nabuo na nila bago pa ang walking tours. Alam ko pong ako bilang bilang bago dito, naging naging parang estudyante ako. Kasi noon pong nag unang araw, nalaman ko na kahit alam na alam mo yung kwento at meron kumontra sa iyo, hindi mo ipagpipilitan yung kwento mo. So what was the major challenge as a mentor? The essentially what the students did, they put so many sites within the at, two or three hour itinerary. And of course, this is because of the lack of experience. So I was telling them, it's okay to include as much as possible. However, you also have to be considerate of your clients. Uh, as of today, when we were doing the planning last year, we didn't know, we did not have a clue of the client profile, whether we would have families, senior citizens, students, and so forth and so on. So the facing of the itinerary had to be for the average visitor, not too old, not too young. Uh, I understand later we even had pets joining the tour, but that's another story. 
So the challenge, in my opinion, was to make the, the students realize that while we want to promote UP Diliman campus and all its historical aspects, historical and cultural aspects, we also have to be considerate of the clientele or the participants or the people who will avail of these packages. Uh, I, I must say that after a little of uh, uh, making some arrangements and uh, tweaking the itinerary a little here and a little there, we were able to come up with a very easily faced itinerary. The average duration of each tour was two and a half to three hours per tour. Remember, it's a walking tour of the UP campus, the, the academic oval specifically. Tapos, ang isa pa pong challenge dahil nga sila ay mga volunteers at may mga klase. Minsan may magte-text sa akin, ma'am, hindi po ako pwede. So ang iisipin ko ngayon, sino ang aking kakausapin? Kaya maganda po yung naging training nila kasi laging dalawa po ang tandem ng esodyanteng escorts. So kung halimbawa ang pakiusap namin sa kanila sa tulong ng dalawang trainer natin, hindi pwedeng mawala pareho. Hindi pwedeng mawala ang sabay. So natuto silang umayos, play the role, play the part. Kung tour guide ka, tour guide ka. Kung tour escort ka, tour escort ka. Also, you really have to prepare yourself uh, uh, with interacting uh, with people because you don't know what uh, kind of people you will, uh, you will encounter. You really have to adjust, you really have to be patient, you have to be kind, you have to be considerate to the people that you will be serving. Because at the end of the day, you are not carrying only the name of your, your, uh, your yourself, but you're also be gonna be carrying the name of our university. So I think you have to prepare your body and your social skills. Sana po. Um... Karamihan sa atin ay makibahagi dahil ang pinakamahalagang mensahe nito ay makikilala mo ng husto ang universidad, ang komunidad na kasama ka at kabilang ka. UP Diliman has a lot of stories to tell. Students, employees, and alumni of the university, as well as the members of the general public who have participated in the walking tours, have gotten to know the university on a deeper level. These stories about history, flora, fauna, public arts, and architecture will be cascaded to the members of the next generations who will also fall in love with the university. The students, especially the organizers of the walking tours and the tour escorts, will forever cherish this learning experience as they also become part of the university's history.